Okay, today I will be teaching you how to solve the top layer, not just the top color right there, but the entire layer, so the top third of the Rubik's Cube, okay? Um, as you can see, I've already done it, so I'm going to mix it up just for a minute. Um, while I'm doing this, you're going to need to know several formula. Like I don't know what they're called, but I'll put them on the screen right now. Okay, so now that you have those, that's the formulas for um, pretty much how to solve the entire Rubik's Cube. That's the terminology I'll be using, okay? We'll be trying to solve the green side. If you have a Rubik's Cube, you can do this. If not, you can favorite this and look at it later, okay? So have the white side be front and green side be uh, top. Let me get a better angle on this. One second. Okay. So the green side is top and the the white side is front. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get across. So here, here, and here, and here, here, and here. You can't just get the color green on top. You also have to have this piece has to be green. Sorry. Green, white. It has to correspond with the green, orange. Okay, it has to, or red. That's red if you can't tell. Okay, so it's got to match it. Okay, so to do that, um, you're going to have to know those formulas that I'm about to teach you. So, you got the terminology down. Now, here's the formula. To get this we'll do this side first okay green and white okay so we're gonna we know it's on an edge so we're gonna find there's only one green and white edge piece so we're going to find the green and white edge it's right there okay so we're gonna spin that around until the cube the green and white edge cube is in the right spot okay right now it's in the right spot but it's reversed so we need to make it to where it's flipped around the other side now when you're solving this first cross this is probably going to happen about half the time so when you get in this case you're going to remember this um, right this would be the front okay so okay scratch that we're going to make the red side be the front okay the white side is going to be the right side and the green still the top so you're going to get flip this cube, this color right here to right here to switch this cube around you're going to go right inverse then you're going to move up regular then you're going to move front inverse then you're going to move um uh, um the top inverse okay up so then the that cube right there just flipped around okay you're going to continue to do this for the rest of the, um, the sides in the cube. I'll let you watch me do that one second. Okay. So, now I have the top cross on the top of the cube, green. And they all correspond with the color below them, okay? So, the next thing you're going to want to do is get the corners, right? So, you're going to find, we'll solve this side first, okay? we got orange right here and yellow right here. I, I need to find the orange and yellow and green, because yellow, orange, and green, the corner cube that will go right here. So, I find that and it happens to be directly below it. 
if it was over here, over here, you turn it to where it's directly below the spot that it needs to go. So it needs to go here, you're going to try to get it to there, which all you're going to have to do is turn it. After you get it there, um, you're going to do this formula. Um, right inverse, bottom inverse, right regular, bottom regular. Okay? So, it's pretty simple. You may have to do that one, two, three, four, five. I don't. Just keep doing it. If you keep doing it, the X will always stay there. And eventually, after a couple tries, this cube will be in the right spot. I'll let you watch me do that one second. And there we go. I think that took like five tries. Okay, four or five tries. Okay, so I did it that fast. Okay, and um, you should keep doing that till you get the whole top side, and you just solve the top of the Rubik's cube, the top side. So. If you want to figure the middle layer is a little bit more difficult and the top layer is the hardest. Okay? If you want, but it's still not too hard if you know how to do it. So if you want to know how to finish sol solving the Rubik's. Sorry. Can't speak. Uh, if you want to learn how to finish the rest of the Rubik's Cube, I will tell you that and all you got to do is leave a comment telling me that you want me to tell you and yeah so hope you like it enjoy it um bye